Just when did you find out you were starting at Villa? Uh, I think it was on Tuesday afternoon. Uh, we were obviously coming to training and, and the gaffers uh, made the team. Uh, and obviously, fortunately, I was in it. So uh, I think that's the first I found out of it. And then it was kind of just uh, straight into things. Um, getting used to the formation. Obviously, I, I've been here for six months now. So I've been seeing the lads do it week in and week out. So uh, I was pretty comfortable fit, fitting in at uh, left centre-back. So... Uh, yeah, but yeah, Tuesday was uh, was when I found out, so not much time to prepare. Because there's obviously a, a lot of emphasis on that particular role and and the attacking element of it, as well as the defensive element of it. Do, do you feel that um, you were prepared and ready to take on everything that that role offers? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think that's why uh, the gaffers brought me in, obviously, uh, to uh, to support Jack in in um, in his position. Uh, if anything happened, and obviously, unfortunately, Jack got injured, so. Um, I had to step in, but it's something that I'm comfortable to do to uh, to overlap at centre half. Uh, we've had a few games, obviously in out, so I've had enough time to 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 get used to it. And um, I think obviously playing in the Premier League is a massive step up, so uh, I'll get used to that more and more. And just with with the more games that I play, so obviously as I say, I'm used to the formation, and it is different. Obviously at centre half, you you feel like sometimes you just have to stay back, but not here, the gaffer wants you forward overlapping. Uh, sometimes it does feel a bit weird, like overlapping Ender when he's like the left wing back, but uh, something I'm happy to do and get forward. Does the absence of, of John Fleck and, and Jack O'Connell in the week just highlight how important it is that everybody is ready to play their part and that they likely will have to play their part in the next few weeks? Yeah, of course. I mean, obviously we've had, I, don't, I think it was eight weeks off. Uh, it wasn't off for us. We, we, we was working hard constantly throughout, but um, we we understood that there was going to be injuries with that with that amount of time off, and then to step up and to get to the intensity of of the Premier League that you need, we understood that there was going to be injuries. So I think everyone's ready, everyone's there, everyone's been working hard. So it's just about when you get your chance and, and taking it. So uh, everyone just needs to stay ready because the games are coming thick and fast. How did it feel to be back as a Premier League player? I believe it was nine years since your last appearance in the top flight. Yeah, it's a long time, but uh, excited to be back. It's been a lot of hard work, to be honest, um, especially since my injury at, at 21. Uh, it's been five years of, of tough graft to get back, but happy to be here. And obviously, I thank the gaffer for bringing me to the club and obviously giving me this opportunity. So uh, I'm going to take it with both hands when I get it. What was your view of the uh, the ghost goal at Villa Park from, from where you were? <laughs> it was, to me, I think it, even if you look at the pictures, uh, you can see me celebrating, obviously I thought it was in, but it's just one of those. There's, there's nothing we can do about it now. Uh, I think we've all realised that obviously it, it was a goal, so uh, there's nothing you can really do apart from move on and hope that doesn't happen again. But Chris, Chris talked after the game about how difficult it's going to be trying to find that spark without the crowd being there. So does something like this and the, the injustice that you all feel, will will that help to add a little bit of extra motivation going forward? I think so. If you think, if you look at where we are in the league, it's uh, it's not time to take a step back. It's it's time to push on. I think that's all the motivation we need. Um, try and push up that league, put pressure on the teams above us, and, and finish as high as we can. Um, it'll be a massive achievement for the club, obviously, if we get European football. So I think that's our our aim, and that's what everyone's working towards.